3 parts created okay. so total 7 parts we have drawn 3 parts and then we are going to assemble so go to file new now assemble so we want to click ok we are able to see this window so in this window there are two important commands we are going to operate first is insert component we insert 3d components in that one in this assembly window and mate so to, to fix the inserted part in a particular another part so assembly is done by using mate okay so first is to insert component so while inserting component we have to see the drawing how the drawing is assembled so if you see this drawing all the parts are assembled in this body so that part we have to select first which is required very less moment okay or which is the base part this is the part i have to select first so i am selecting this part then one by one we can select so you have to refer these drawings for example this is the body if i inserted body first then next part will be neck bush the neck bush is concentric with this body also it is resting at one of its side so you have to use concentric mate and coincident mate Okay, concentric means axis is common and coincidence means faces are touching to each other. Okay, surfaces are touching to each other. Similarly, if you look for the gland and gland bush, top surface is coincident, also concentric. Okay, so the bush, the top part of the pipe bush and top part of the gland are again coincident. If you are just seen here, so the top part of the bush, the gland bush and gland are coincident so you can you have one option that you can assemble these gland and gland bush at a first assemble these two parts and then you can insert in this body the first thing you have to insert the body so i am inserting body first so most of the times since we require to draw a sectional view it is a good practice to locate the component in on the origin okay. we can locate particular component on origin so that sectional will come or pass through the center you can move the sectional plane as you require but still it's a good practice the next is to insert the next part so next part is insert the neck bush the neck bush how the neck bush is related to body? Neck bush and body are concentric components, so they are along the one axis, and this portion of neck bush is resting on this face of the body. So you can make concentric first, then you can make coincidence for this surface. So first go to the main. So to make concentric, just you have to select any cylindrical surface on that particular part or the part which you want to make a cylindrical so here it is already selected you can select first a cylindrical part and then you can select another cylindrical part so now which is the part or which is the mate is considered is observed here so it is made in concentric so it is fine with me I am going to concentric mate now you can observe that this neck bush is not traveling in x direction, it will be traveling in y direction, it will be in vertical direction, and you can rotate this part like this. This is rotating. Okay, so only two degrees of freedom are there. So to lock that degrees of freedom, another thing is that this face, if you observe the drawing. So this face of the body and this face of the neck bush are again coincident. You can select this part and you select this part. So we are able to get coincident. Now if you are trying to move the neck bush, it is not able to, but if you see the origin, only one rotational degree of freedom is allowed. Only one degree of freedom is allowed. Now, the next part is inserting gland and gland bush. 
insert component and I'm inserting blank. I'm inserting at a side part of the main assembly so that I will assemble first blank and blank bush, then I will be able to assemble. So if you observe the relation between blank and blank bush, are both, these are concentric parts. These are concentric parts. Also, this face of blank is going to be blank bush, is going to be this face of blank. Now, um, if you want to check the accuracy, the length of blank is equal to the length of the blank. So, the top face is natural. So, this accuracy also you have to set up. Check. One more thing I want to tell is once you insert any part, one thing you have to observe is this is sectional. Okay. Once you insert any part, one thing, see, I have inserted here neck bush. Okay, so you have to observe that how it is inserted. So if the dimension is correct, you are able to see only one line. If the dimension is more or overlapping, this part will get inserted into this part. You are able to see two lines. If this part is having some gap, you are able to see the gap. Okay, so that time you have to check the dimensions of individual part by opening this from the file open and you can open and check the dimensions. So if you make changes in that part, the automatically changes will be inserted in this assembly. Okay, so in the sectional view, you can check the accuracy. Next part you have to insert is a gland and gland bush. So I am inserting that parts separately outside of the drawing. Okay, so what is the relation between gland and gland bush is? This part, this circle, mate, and this surface are coincident plus this coincident. Then this surface and this surface are concentric. You can take the accuracy also on this one. Next part I want to insert is a pipe. If you see the drawing, pipe is a concentric with the body, also it is resting on one of the steps. Now, insert So, this is the cylindrical part, make another cylindrical part, so concentric. Then, what is the surface? This and then next, where is the interest? The interest. So, so okay. Now, if you see the pipe is resting here, it is having only one degree of freedom, which is rotating. Now, I have assembled gland and gland bush together. This face and this face are coincident. This case and this case are coincident. Then this cylindrical part and any cylindrical part will be coincident. You can check the accuracy also. So this part are on the same line. If you want to check the accuracy, you can go from the sectional view. Okay, so in the sectional view, we can see the accuracy. The next part is we want to insert four nut and bolts in these holes, the holes of gland and body. So for this, the requirement is that these two holes must be in one line, or these must two holes must be concentric. These two cylinders must be concentric cylinders. Okay. So that thing we have to add. Okay, using mat. This is the first cylinder. This is another cylinder. So concentric. So this make OK. Now you are able to see this in a top view. Okay. 
the holes are the holes are concentric. Okay, and there's one mistake. In the body, we have drawn six holes. Okay. Actually, the holes on the body are four. So that thing I have to edit here. So how how to edit any part or any dimension? We have to open that part. So I'll open body first. Okay, now can you see how many holes are there? Six. I want only four. So circular pattern. This is the circular pattern for bottom holes. This is the circular pattern for top face holes. Just change this second thing. So this is the additional thing. Okay. Now the changes have been saved. Now if you see the top view. This is the by this way you can understand the holes are in one line. Okay. So once we have done this, next part is to insert the nut and bolt. So we are, there are four nut and bolts are here at four different places. So what we are going to do is we have to insert nut and bolts at one place and then we are using circular pattern option which is available in assembly. So browse bolt first I am going to insert this is bolt. So how to insert bolt? First thing is this face and this face mate. And this face okay, therefore insert. Okay. Then this surface and this uh, you can make it concentric. So, the bolt is inserted properly in the hole. Next part is to insert the nut. So, browse nut. This is the nut. Similarly, nut also is coinciding with the bottom edge. Nut. This one. So now you have to judge which face is like this. It is in the correct orientation, but if it is taking wrong orientation, you can change like this. Flip to the side. Okay. You can change the alignment. Okay. Opposite and straight. As per our requirement. Next is you have to concentrate. So make while making the concentrate, you have to select this face. Okay, but sometimes this face is not able to get selected. So that time you can select any circle on the nut and, and the corresponding corresponding circle on the bolt. Also. Like this now bolt I'm going to select this bolt and selecting this part. Is it showing some error? Sometimes with low configuration, it is not able to select the proper hole. So we can select any circle, one circle on board to one circle, edge of one circle on nut. Like this, I have done each selection. So this is it's a default way. When we do not selecting any curve, we can go for this type of a selection. It is not a standard method, but there is no option other than this. When the configuration is low, the next part is I have inserted nut and bolt in one location. I want to copy that location for three different more three more different locations. So like similar like sketch and feature you can use sketch pattern or circular pattern in assembly also so we have four number of nut and bolts at four different locations so components to pattern is bolt first then nut so if it, if it okay, 
will be able to see this. So now we can see the sectional view. Make the view normal view switch. Make it okay. So you can see your drawing. So this is our final drawing. So our result on sectional view must match with this drawing. visible we are going to see all the parts like neck bush is resting here gland bush gland and pipe top surface is in the same line nut and bolts are visible okay. only thing is that we have coincided the surface of nut and bolt at the bottom face of the body okay which is not shown here okay but we have since some material is inside this bushing material is there so this will automatically go into lock that nut and bolts since all the requirements have been satisfied we can see that drawing is complete so once we have done this we can save this assembly so save save all so save all I, since I have already saved this document, so that document will again get saved. The next part is generating sheet. Okay. The next part is generating sheet.